Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button below and click the little notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. So in this video, it is going to be super short, super sweet, and to the point. I'm going to show you how you can track more than five sub IDs if you're using a click magic tracking link. So right here is the typical five uh, sub IDs that you use when you're tracking your Bing ads campaigns using click magic, which is keyword, query string, ad group, ad ID, and your network. And that fills up all five spots on Bing ads. But what if you wanted to track another thing? What if you wanted to track uh, the campaign? All you would have to do is just go next to one of these little curly brackets, add a little dash, and then another curly and just type in campaign and then close it. So it'll, you'll be tracking two things and it'll only take up one sub ID spot. And there's a lot of other things that you can track as well. I'll pull up Click Magic FAQ. If you're not a part of Click Magic, uh, definitely uh, join them because they have such a great FAQ section. Oh, not the tracking guide. I always do that. I'll go back. Okay, so FAQ and knowledge base. And if you just type in Bing Ads Tokens, uh, this article will pop up. How do I track my pay per click keywords? And then you can scroll down here and they'll have the tokens for Google AdWords and Bing Ads. So right here, uh, ad group ID. So there is the ad ID and there's also an ad group ID. I never use this because I just use the ad group name, which is this next one. But if I wanted to, I could add that in there. Ad ID, campaign ID, campaign device, match type, network. If I wanted to add match type to my existing tracking link that's already tracking six, I can just go over one right over here. Oops. Next to the little squiggly, add a dash, and then just paste it in. So now we're using just the five sub ID spots that we're allowed to use, but we're tracking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different uh, tokens. So now another thing we can do is they have a link to Bing's full custom parameters. So you can click there and then you can come down here. They got a whole bunch more uh, target ID, uh, bid match type, network device, if mobile string, not mobile, if search string, native string, if PLA string, you can read all this to know what it means. Um, keyword default, MS click ID, ordered item ID, query string, copy. So they have a whole bunch of uh, little things that you can track here. So if I wanted to do track this one as well, I'd go to the third one, add a dash and paste it in. So that, this is just a quick video showing you how you can track more than five tokens using Click Magic and Bing Ads. Uh, like I said, it was going to be short and to the point. So that's the end of this video. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. I'm usually pretty fast to reply to the comments. And lastly, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Come on. Come on. Hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.